Patrick, how long have you been drilling wells? Uh, legally. <laughs> hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Today, we are going to find a place to drill a well. And I got Patrick with Carolina Virginia Well. We have what you call witching sticks, right? Right. Okay, and we're gonna try and find water with this number eight, eight. number eight copper wire. Now, Patrick's got a cool story. Uh, you had an elderly man that used to come out and help you mark the spots. spots to drill wells, and he never was wrong. Right. And somebody stole the witching sticks from you, and you had his son make a new set. Correct. Buried these in the ground for a couple weeks. Right. And now these are the witching sticks, and we're going to go find water. What do you think? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how this works. What what do I do? How do I hold these in my hand? And this is number eight copper wire, right? Right. How do I I, I just hold them in my hand like this, like yeah. like grips? And you grip okay. Them. Just grip them. And then when they make an X, it's just be X is a spot. X marks the spot. Right. <laughs> so this is again, it's just number eight copper wire, just like that, just bent to an elbow. And I've already done this, and he's already done this. He walked the area, the same area that I walked. And we both found the same spots. Right. So we want to drill the well up here on the top of the hill so that it feeds down this way, out this way. This is kind of the central location for our agricultural well here on the farm. There's wet spots in the ground. So there's like areas where the ground is clearly wet. Maybe there's a spring under the ground. I don't know. You. It could be, but like I said, it's surface water, so it's yeah, no good knows? for you. Well, let's get busy. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Guys, this this is this is not bull. This is not bull crap. This is for real, man. This is unbelievable. So I've got the spot marked uh, where we found water the first time. Where Patrick found water, he's over here. He's supervising, and where I found water. There's two spots. There's one here, and then there's one up there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk it. Here we go. There is right there. And. As I back out, they open back up. Yep. And as I step back in, they come back in together. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's really unbelievable. I'm gonna let Patrick do it. I'm gonna film him do it because it's really just unbelievable. Um, and it's a roll of dice. Seems like we need an old man for this, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> ain't none of them left. I know, ain't none of them left. You hold them in your hand like that, you got you can't grip them too tight because they still got to move some. So you leave them a little loose in your hand and then you just walk. Right there. There's a spot. And that's right beside, right there's a spot that's right there beside the one that I found just a minute ago. Now. Keep on walking. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so they cross there too. Now, I've got my magic can of spray paint here. So we're going down spray paint camp. And we're painting this area. All right, let's find one more. This is not bull crap, guys. This is unbelievable. I mean... <laughs> so we've come up with four potential well sites. Has this worked for you in the past? Is it 50-50 or is it 80-20? 50 50-50. <laughs> so it might work and it might not work. Out of all these marks, which mark do you choose? Which mark do you think? Look like we got a, a bunch of marks over here. I say down here on this end. Now, Patrick, how long have you been drilling wells? Uh, legally. <laughs> how long have you been drilling uh, drilling wells legally? <laughs> legally, I've been drilling wells since I was 18. Since you're 18. How old are you now? 40. 40. Okay. Good deal. I've been putting in pumps and helping on the well rig since I was 7. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
So I'm a fourth generation. Awesome. Well, let's get the equipment, get lined up here, and X marks the spot. That's it. Okay guys, so the truck is here. This is the truck with the pipe and the casing and everything in it. The truck is here and they're gonna go ahead and set the rig up. I've gotta drill an extra wide hole and put this casing in here, okay? The casing is the pipe that goes down into the bedrock. So it goes five feet down into the bedrock. Then they'll switch drill heads and go to a smaller drill head and drill on down into the bedrock. Our well down at the house, which is maybe 500, yeah, maybe 300 yards away is 525 feet deep. Oh, it's really deep. The deeper you go, the more expensive it is. Anywhere from 14 to $18 a foot around here where I'm at. So we're gonna start drilling, man. It's gonna be awesome. All right, guys, what you're seeing here is pretty cool. These guys are leveling up the truck, getting the whole truck up off the ground. They're raising up this boom for the drill rig. There are a couple different type bits that they're gonna use. This is like a paddle bit. It's around 10 inches and that will bust through the top of the soil here in a second. You can see how the joints are individually screwed together right here. All right, action, here it goes. Yep, so this thing blows air. There's an air compressor and there's water in the truck right beside us. So the truck to the left there has a water bed. The bed is full of water. All in all, this process took somewhere in the neighborhood of seven hours. Give me your best guess how deep we had to go right here. If the witching sticks worked or not. So we're busting through. Till we hit rock, till we hit granite, and then they blow the hole out. This is really fun, really interesting, guys. If you like this kind of stuff, jump in, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back. Found that like button if you think this is fun. So that is the cutting blade or cutting bit. This is what we used to pick it up with. There's a cable hooked to the top of the boom. In a minute, they change out that cutter head to uh, put a new diamond tip cutter head. And that thing vibrates with air pressure and water pressure. So it pushes water down into the well and it vibrates. Now we're going down to bedrock. So three different drill heads that we use in this process. That's called a carousel. It's a carousel, basically, a, I think it's a 10 shooter. It holds 10 or so uh, weld uh, rods, not welding rods, but well rods that connect here. And he's using some copper lubricant so that they don't get stuck together and come back apart easily. I don't know if you noticed, there was a little wrench right there that holds it in place so everything can be snugged down. So blowing more air pressure and you'll see the hammer and the water here in just a minute. You'll see them start to use some water and you'll see the hammer. That's when the hammer's kicking in, so getting rock. That's bedrock right there. Ended up using about 30 feet of casing, so we went down about 20 feet and hit bedrock. You can see it's all dry right now and you start to get excited. That's that hammering effect. It's hitting that granite bedrock. That's what we have here in North Carolina. 
I got kind of excited when I started seeing water like this, but what you're seeing is the machine uses water to cut. Each one of those rods that you're seeing pushed down in the ground is 20 feet long. And that's all water straight out of that truck to the left. This is about 7 o'clock in the evening. I got pretty excited when I saw this. Uh, this was just blowing out the hole, just cleaning the hole out as they drilled. I was like, man, what'd you do? Would you hit an artesian well or did you hit a, a well full of foam? <laughs> That's just cleaning it out. It's like frothy water. Right, so they're down and they're through the bedrock to the point where we're going to pull this bit out and we're going to slide the casing in place. So he's laying down the bit. Again, three different bit types get used here. That's a casing that's around a six inch well casing pipe. We want to go down into the bedrock plus five feet. second piece of casing. Interesting how they put a little collar on the casing to raise it up. A little PVC cement here. This is a different kind of PVC cement than I've ever seen. really appreciate Carolina Virginia well being so accommodating uh, let me shoot this video hopefully this is really educational for you guys so he removes that collar and the casing goes down in the well alright so we got a new bit head here you can see as it screws on, see how it raises up a little center section? That's that hammering effect. You can see that center section is separated from the actual tip of the bit. We go down in here and put the guard back in place. Hold it with the little wrench that's built into the uh, well drilling machine. And this is an older well drilling machine. Newer well drilling machines have a lot of like, electronic stuff on it. A lot of well drillers prefer the older stuff because it's easier to work on. All that is is water and, and stuff blasting out where they're displacing water as they drop that head down in there. Still fun to watch. One of these well drilling machines costs somewhere in the neighborhood of three quarters of a million dollars. That's why it costs so much to drill a well. Now around here where I live, anywhere from $12 to $18 a foot is fairly common. Alright, so we unlock from that one, go back up to the carousel, and all those pipes to the left, we're going to use about half of those pipes in the rack to the left. We're actually going to drill down somewhere in the neighborhood of 460 feet. That's a hydraulic wellhead right there. It's like a giant hydraulic hammer drill. So he screws into a new section of rod or pipe. And down we go. Those are some fun shots to get with the drone. A little bit of copper lubricant. 
screw the pipe sections together and this went on over and over and over and every time I saw another section of pipe go on I just thought dollar bills dollar bills dollar bills total bill on this was six thousand three hundred and seventy dollars for 460 foot well uh, did pretty well I, I got a pretty good price we did not install a pump because we're gonna put a complete solar system so guys please jump in subscribe to the channel and watch us finish the well out with a complete solar system for the farm we're all about passive energy we're all about keeping the cows out of the watershed that's what this is all about it's doing things passively no matter if we have power or not we'll always have water on the farm Now, according to Patrick, the only difference between a agricultural well and a uh, regular residential well is the permitting process, okay? See that gray dust coming up? So we hit various levels of gray and red dirt, gray dirt, red dirt. They call that shale or granite. That well drilling truck has a big old Cummins diesel in it. And we kind of flew over here just to kind of give you guys an idea. All this is for the cows. All this is for the farm. So we can irrigate, so we can water the cows, so we can go in behind the cows and irrigate. It's all about doing the right thing with our livestock. Building a farm. We've got a hundred year plan here on the farm. We're not a five year plan. We're in a hundred year plan. Okay, this is after we hit water. So we pressurized the well and blew it out good. And that is our fresh water. Isn't that awesome? We ended up with about 10 to 12 gallons a minute uh, at about 460 feet. He hit water at about 425. I told him to go on and dig to 460. That way we've got some more reserve and if we hit another vein of water that would be awesome. You can see no erosion, just a little water running down the hill. And now I got to pull every single one of those tubes out of the ground, put them back on the carousel, put them back on the truck, and you can see how many we use. We really used a lot. So be sure if you're deciding to drill a well like this in your particular county or state, be sure you check with them, check what your uh, local regulations might be for drilling agricultural well or drilling a well for your house. This all could apply. Just loading up the pipe, getting ready to get out of here and collect their check. It's a big pill to swallow and it's going to take several years to recoup this cash that we're spending on the wells by selling cattle. But it's what has to be done. So you're making a long term investment in your home, in your property, in your farm, in your land. And I think it's a great thing. Every time you do something like this, you're increasing the value of your property. Awesome. Good to see some teamwork here, huh? Sixty feet, about seven thousand dollars worth of drilling over the last two days here on the Stony Ridge Farm. This thing is loud. They're taking everything down right now. These sections of pipe are about twenty feet apiece. They're unscrewing them, stacking them on the trailer, and that's it. So, uh, if we were doing this on conventional power, we'd be hooking up power and putting the pump in, and it would be probably about another thirty-five hundred to four thousand dollars. However, we're setting up a totally solar totally passive system stay tuned for a future video we got a couple more weeks before the solar guys get out here and we'll have water to our cows guys thanks a lot for joining me today on the stony ridge these guys are taken down and we got the job done thanks a lot i hope you learned something we'll see you next time all right yeah, Woo! Come on.